in November, in my year 11 mocks, I got a three in GCSE chemistry. I remember walking into the exam, having no clue what was going on. I think I got about 20 out of 100. Flash forward to my actual GCSEs, and I got a nine in chemistry, which was actually 10% into the grade boundary of a nine. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the best advice I have that helped me kind of crack and finally understand chemistry, a subject that for many people is incredibly difficult. Make sure you subscribe and please leave a like as well. Throughout all of exam season before, before every exam, I'm gonna be releasing videos just to help you, okay? And what helped me get nines. Now, a lot of you guys, I think are beginning to understand and find what happened to me, which is during exam season, things often seem to come together, okay? Obviously, you're going to have some bad papers, and I've done a video on what to prepare and what to do when that actually happens. But it's quite, it's a really good feeling when you're in the exam hall and things start coming together. And that's what we're aiming for with this channel, okay? So I'm really glad things are going well. If they're not going well, that's fine. It's all about sustaining the momentum, sustaining the energy throughout all of exam season, okay? So if you're doing well, if you're doing badly, the second half of GCSEs are really important too, and my channel will help you with that. Right, let's talk about chemistry then. So the first point I want to make is practice okay now this is obvious i know this is obvious but i really want to emphasize this point this is what helped me get really good at chemistry okay and in the build up to all of my science exams all i did or well, the most important thing i did was a lot of practice you just need to print out huge amounts of questions get the mark scheme and just keep going through as much as you can okay realistically if you're really lacking in content then obviously you need to learn some of that but remember practice can help you learn content in the exam format so do a lot of practice okay that's a non-negotiable and the reason why that's so important and the reason why especially in chemistry practice helped me is because what i started to realize was certain key topics kept coming up again and again in chemistry there is sort of five fundamental topics in paper one that a lot of the other questions are based around for example reactivity and how the size of an atom affects its properties okay so the bigger an atom gets, the further away the outer electron gets from the positive nucleus. Depending on whether this is in group one or group seven or wants to gain or lose an electron, that can make it more or less reactive. So learning some of the really core fundamentals in chemistry really helped me because again and again and again, they kept coming up. I'm pretty confident that you're going to get a question on reactivity saying something like, explain the trend in reactivity going down group one or why is element, element X more reactive than element Y? That's everything. It's super, super common, okay? So the more you practice, the more you are going to see these patterns. I'm just going to quickly read out a couple of questions I've got on my laptop here that are potential topics that might come up that they like testing about. So for example, on atomic structure, that's often tested. Describe how Mendeleev arranged the elements in his periodic table and explain why his table was accepted by other scientists. Or bonding often comes up. Explain why diamond has a very high melting point and chemical changes. Describe what you would see when potassium is added to water and explain the observations. These are just some questions that I often spot again and again. Okay, that doesn't mean they're guaranteed to come up. You should know by now with predictions. You shouldn't rely on them, but you should prepare for them. But the more practice you do, the more you will see like I did, that chemistry really starts to come together and it's not as bad as it seems. I think a lot of students are intimidated because you first need to learn the fundamentals to kind of understand and go further with chemistry, okay? So really work on understanding the basics. Now, practicals are also really important. I'm going to say this before every science paper because it's so important practicals and knowing the practicals and all of that can account for about 15 percent of your exam they're guaranteed to come up we know practicals are coming up so you really should make sure you understand in a fair amount of detail all of the practicals okay to do this just watch free sun sessions videos on the practicals answer some questions make some notes and test yourself okay that should get you to learn the practicals practicals is the type of thing i'll be doing on the morning of the exam and the evening before the exam okay so make sure you know those practicals because they're going to come up okay at least one of them is going to come up Next point then that I want to talk about is for chemistry, if you're aiming for nine and often if you're aiming for high grades, the maths questions can be really quite hard. Okay, make sure you learn this. So I remember quantitative chemistry, which is a really difficult topic. That's the type of grade nine topic. Very often comes up as a five mark question on like moles, all of that sort of stuff. I'll try and find one and put it on now. But it's common to get this kind of five mark, really difficult question. So make sure students at all levels you can get those maths questions because it's really common either three mark type of one or even five mark difficult ones so knowing the maths and chemistry is really not as bad as you think it took me a while i remember this was a topic i really struggled with and i took it to my teacher and she managed to explain it so eventually i did get it but i just want to remind you guys it's worth focusing on 
the mathematical side of chemistry too. So quantitative chemistry is a kind of topic that differentiates the higher grade and lower grade students. Although if you're in foundation, it's unlikely you'll get a, a difficult question on that. Okay. So YouTube is also really important, really useful. Free start assessment videos are great. Pick out your weak points, weak points. Okay. It's really important to do that. Another point I want to make is personally, if you still want to learn some content for chemistry and you definitely can, what I would be doing is starting from topic one. Chemistry, unlike something like biology, although biology as well a little bit, I found it really builds on itself actually. All the topics seem to build on, e on each other. So for example, topic one for AQA anyway, they kind of like to start with like atoms and what they look like and then how that affects, how that affects their properties and then you get bonding. And what I would be doing is trying to learn and recap chemistry from topic one because i think if you really get those points you can actually kind of learn a lot and understand the other points much more easily so sometimes students do make the mistake say you haven't learned any content of just jumping into some random topic start from the start build up from there okay that's definitely advice that i'd recommend another thing as well definitions okay for all the sciences definitions are super important in the description I'm going to put a bunch of definitions. Have a look through them. Other than you don't know, learn some definitions, okay? Because once again, these core fundamental principles are going to help you with chemistry. Now, I just want to make a final few statements, okay? I just want to repeat again, practice, 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 guys. You just really need to practice for this exam. The more you practice, the more you learn, the more you market, the better you're going to get at chemistry. So it's really, really possible to do well in chemistry. You will find out, just like I did, that it's not as bad as it seems. The only reason, or the only kind of scenario when chemistry is really difficult is if you haven't really revised it at all. And then you go into the exam and you think, right, what is this? Because like, I haven't learned this at all. So that's why you guys need to take the time to go through content, go through practice. And this exam is going to be a really good one, okay? So let me know how it goes. That's my main advice for chemistry. And remember, there's paper two. We're going to talk about paper two when we get to it. But even if this exam doesn't go as well as you want to, because you haven't got enough time to revise it, we've got paper two to make sure you get a lot better, okay? So that's my overall advice in chemistry. I hope that was helpful. Check the description for all of the resources and stuff that I've mentioned in this video. Please leave any comments and make sure to leave a like as well. And good luck for the exam.